If your Dynex TV has got a red light flashing and it won't turn on at all, then in most cases you have a mainboard failure. But it's possible there's a failure on one of the other boards or a simple software glitch. The first step is to try a flashlight test. So switch your TV on so that the light is flashing. Get a flashlight or switch the torch of your phone on and point it directly at your screen. If you can see faint images, then you almost certainly have a backlight failure. But to be able to diagnose and fix this properly, then check out the linked video that's in the top right of the screen right now. If you don't see any faint images, then we'll cover how to fix that in the rest of this video. For about 30% of people, you can fix your problem by power cycling your TV. So to power cycle a TV, just make sure your TV is switched off, then unplug it from the wall. Hold down the physical power button on the TV for at least 15 seconds. Wait for at least two minutes for any residual power to drain from the TV's capacitors and then plug your TV back in and try switching it on. If this doesn't fix your issue, then just try it a couple more times because sometimes it doesn't work first time and it can take a few goes to kick in. In about 10% of cases, a fault within your household power supply, or more specifically within the surge protector or smart plug that your TV is plugged into is the cause of the problem. So just try removing any surge protectors or smart plugs so that you've got a direct line to your wall socket. You can also try a different wall socket and just make sure you have a look at the power cord going into the back of your TV and check that the, the port itself is not uh, corroded or damaged. About 5% of users have got an HDMI problem. So this is either a faulty HDMI cable with a break in it, a damaged HDMI port with uh, damaged or broken pins, or a poor HDMI connection between the cable and connector. So start by removing all HDMI and other cables apart from your power cable from your TV, then switch your TV on. If the problem's gone, then take a look at all of the HDMI and other cables um, check there's no damage to them. Use compressed air if you've got any to clean the contacts between the cable and the connector. And then firmly reinsert the cables and switch your TV on again. If it hasn't fixed your problem, then try using a different HDMI input that's located elsewhere on your TV. As HDMI slots on a different part of your TV often have a different connection to your TV's mainboard. If your TV is now working, then you'll need to troubleshoot your HDMI cables and or the connected devices. If the earlier steps haven't helped, then you almost certainly have a failure on one of the internal boards in your TV. So the main boards in the TV are the timing control or TCON, the power board and the main board. And you'll also see some additional boards such as Wi-Fi modules and uh, speakers. So the TCON board is a small PCB that drives your TV's panel and it sends a signal to each pixel row of your screen using internal clocks to keep each row in sync. The main board is where you plug in your HDMI and other input-output connectors and it uh, does a lot of the logic of your TV. And the power board is where you plug in your power cable and that converts the, the voltages to, to something that the TV can use. You're most likely to have a failure of the main board but uh, there's potential that it could be a failure on one of the other boards or just a failure of the, the cables or the connections between them. So you're going to have to open up your TV to get to these. You should note that opening up your TV is potentially dangerous, so if you're not confident in your skills, then get a professional in. But this is very easy to do at home. So just make sure before opening up your TV, unplug it, hold down the power button for 15 seconds or so, and then just leave it for about half an hour just to make sure that all the power has drained from the internal capacitors and components. Once that's done, Unscrew the, the screws around the bezel on the back of your TV and open up the case. You'll see the internal boards um, as in this picture. And the first step is just to simply check that all of the internal cables are tightly seated. So just unplug each of the cables in turn, uh, give them a good clean, give the connectors a good clean and then firmly reinsert them. The ribbon-like LVDS cables connecting your T-Con to the panel I've got a catch that needs to be flipped down to unlock them. None of the cables need any force to come out. If you're struggling to get one of the cables out, then look for a catch. Don't try and force them. Once you've cleaned all the cables and all of the connectors, plug them back in. 
and then plug your TV back in, switch it back on again and see if it works. If you've got no change, then you need to try and localise the problem to one of the internal boards. So it's easiest to start with the power board and disconnecting the cable linking the main board to the power board. If you unplug your TV, um, again wait for half an hour, let, it, let all the power drain out, then unplug this cable, plug your TV back in and try your TV again. If your TV now works fine, then you know that the issue must be with the main board or with the TCON, and it's almost certainly with the main board. 